Are you into gear skiving? Do you want to cut gears like this, uh, but don't want to have to take it off of the turning machine once it's turned to actually cut the gear? Well, that's exactly what Halifax Rack and Screw are doing here, all in one on their new Akuma. Simon, I want to learn more about this new machine you purchased here from Akuma and what it's actually doing for you, because there's a lot of hype around gear skiving at the moment, and you are uh, a classic example of someone that's embraced it. Uh, yes, we, we purchased this machine probably 18 months ago, uh, primarily for gear cutting, utilising the power skiving that this machine offers. Now, there's lots of talk about the, the accuracy that you can achieve with, with the gear cutting and the speed of manufacture. Um, are a lot of these machine tool manufacturers correct in, in what they're saying? They are indeed. Alongside the, uh, the specific tooling and this particular machine, we've, we're manufacturing gears to DIN 7, which is a very, very high, uh, accurate cut gear. Now, gear cutting is all about synchronicity, isn't it? Okay. And, and, uh, have they got that down to a T here with Akuma? Uh, Akuma, Akuma decided when they were designing this machine to um, redesign the C-axis encoder. With, with twice as many striations and that, uh, that allows the C-axis to revolve more accurately allowing for the synchronisation. And what about the impact it's had for you? Gear, gear cutting, looking around your business is obviously very prevalent, it's what you do. Um, has it had a big impact on the company? It's allowed us to win probably up to a million dollars worth of work now. Okay, now it goes beyond the gear cut as well, so obviously it's a multitasking machine, isn't it? Do you get the benefit of, of, of being able to do those various machining operations and disciplines as well? Well, it allows us to completely machine the whole part, turning, milling and gear skiving in one operation. Whereas previously that would have had to have been done on maybe three different three machines? Four different machines, yeah. Uh, how do your operators pick up the programming of it though and, and developing, you know, the processes for the parts, is it, have they thought about that too? This machine is quite a, a complicated machine to program, so all the programs are done offline on our, on our Mastercam system. Akuma, this is the first machine you've had from Akuma, brave step uh, because of big investment. Uh, what would, you, what would a few words would you say about NCMT's delivery of this machine and what the machine, I know we talk about the impact it's had and the return it's had, but what about the brand itself? The brand itself, it's the first time I've come across Akuma. Uh, and what they promise is exactly what you get. You know, the accuracy, uh, the lead time was spot on. Um, everything about the machine is perfect.